You know, I was a, had a career as a public defender, um, representing people who are charged with crimes and don't have money to pay for lawyers. And um, I care very deeply about what's going on in the criminal legal system and the issues there. And so I view this in terms of the subject matter as an opportunity to introduce my students to a different way of looking at the criminal legal system than they might have heard before. Um, and to really become intimate with it, with its successes and its failures. I want my students to have a sense of how the law operates in practice, not just in theory. And so that's very important in terms of how I teach. Yeah, I, mean, I think the Seventh Circuit has pretty uh, appealing arguments in this case, right? But the reality is probably that the Supreme Court got this right. Um, I love the process of helping students learn and they help me learn. I mean, it's an, it's an ongoing conversation. They help me to think about both the law and the world in ways that I might not. And watching them develop into lawyers and develop into um, professionals and just develop as people, right, that, that we all do, um, you know, helping them, again, find their passion and find their path to me. Um, is incredibly rewarding. I am hopeful that many of our students are going to go out there and do amazing things that are going to change the world. And I, I, I am not only hopeful, I feel fairly confident in saying that. You know, I, I, I hear the things my students think about and, and the, the things that they care about, and I have full expectation that many of them are going to go out and, and really shape the way the world is, is going, right, and, and shape the things that are going on. The reason I do what I do is because of my students, and to have a student take the time to do that, and even to feel that way, right, to, 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 to consider me in that light, I'm deeply touched and deeply moved by the honor.